Namaste to everyone. Today is a Sri Rama Navami, an auspicious day for all Hindus living all over the world. On this auspicious day, I wanted to share with you the magnificent, beautiful vintage, or we can call it as a heritage, Sri Rama Patabishekam Tanjore Gold Painting description. It is a rare painting which is not available everywhere. It took for me 25 years to collect this antique vintage painting. The Tanjore paintings are an important jewel in the shining treasure of Indian art forms. Its legacy, history and style make it a glorious part of renowned paintings forms across the world. However, it is true essence lies in the fact that it is embedded in the culture and the spirit of southern Indian making. It as much an essential part of the art galleries as temples and homes. of this painting, the dimension of the width without frame is 26 by 42.2 inches. The dimension of height with wooden frame is 35 inches by 48.5 inches. Total height with the Senka Chakra plate is 59.2 inches and weight is 46.4 kgs. The painting is like a box type. We can close the doors and open the doors. So, it is like a mini temple of Sri Rama. We can see here at the top two Dwarapalakas are depicted. Then next to Dwarapalakas we have Chelikattas that is servants who do Vindyamara and uh, take care of the cleanliness of the temple. At the down we have uh, two Munis who will maintain or will take care of the temple premises. So the doors can be opened and uh, can be closed. On the top of the temple, like any other Vaishnava temple, we can see the emblems. That is Vaishnava emblem, that is Senka, Chakra and uh, Namam. On either side, we can observe the deities of Hanuman and uh, Garuda. This is the uniqueness. And uh, if you look at the outside, uh, the entire outside painting is made with the oil painting and uh, reflects as a mini temple. If you open the doors on either side, you find the depiction of the different uh, paintings that is Garuda, Tumburu Narada, Sukamaharshi, Anjaneya and Dwarapalakas. And the down we can observe Nakshatra Harati performing by the priests. The painting is made with the traditional colors. Every bit of this painting has been precisely emboldened with pure gold coating that is 25 carat studded with the sequence of shining precious stones along the outline which is the characteristic features of uh, Tanjavur gold painting work. This painting of Sri Rama attendants is a classical Tanjavur painting, a rare antique collection with doors open and closed. It dates to around 1910. The painting was acquired from Pondicherry 
in an antique collection place and almost certainly has been in Pondicherry, once a French colony in South India since French ruling times. The depiction of the painting is a well-known type and provided a detailed description of uh, Sri Rama Pattabhishekam. The painting shows Sri Rama with uh, green skin seated on a throne beneath an uh, elaborate gilded cusped arch and against a red background. Sri Rama sits in Lalitasana with his left leg raised. Sita, his consort, sits to his left. Lakshmana, his brother, stands to his right. His other two brothers, Bharata and Sekhugna, are standed on Sita's left, that is, left side of the Sri Rama. We can also find Vibhushana on the left side of the Sita along with other sages. All of them are copiously laden with gold jewellery, befitted their divine status. Sri Rama's eyes look like angelic. Almost all the Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata, Seknugna eyes are like almond shape. All the eyes are three-dimensional. If you see from any direction, it will be you will, they will be looking at you. That is the unique characteristics of the Tanjavur gold painting. And uh, all the faces have 3D effect. Also seated on Rama's right are the seven sages, Rama's allies, Vanara Sena, that is monkey god, or below. A green-skinned Hanuman kneels before Rama's throne and holds Rama's right foot in his hands. Meanwhile, Sugriva, the king of the monkeys, stands before the throne and is opening a treasure chest, the contents of which are to be distributed among Rama's allies. The description given by Dalopicolo in 2010 tells that such a type of painting follows the large Sri Rama Pattabhisheka scene reproducing in 19th century Tanjur paintings. The painting is bright and in excellent condition. Presently, it is placed in our puja room getting regular pujas. By looking this painting, one can feel that you are actually participating in the Sri Rama's Pattabhisheka Mahotchava. Sri Ram, eyes or angelic eyes, attracts you from any direction you look. I have an emotional, spiritual feeling by seeing this painting. All my family members are emotionally attached with this classical, vintage, magnificent painting. I really feel proud to have this classical Tanjavur gold painting in my house. I have given this painting to fam my family members to keep for generations and worship Sri Rama and Sita and other sages and uh, devotees who are in the painting. That is why I feel myself I am healthy and wealthy is a God Sri Rama's gift for me. I request you to all of you to procure such a type of uh, painting before it perishes. Many of them are not aware of this type of classical, magnificent, threatened uh, paintings. We must preserve the age-old paintings. Apart from this painting, I have a good number of uh, paintings collected by me, especially Nandishwara, Vigneshwara, and the beautiful and classical rare painting on Shiva Parati Kalyanam. 
and Saraswati. Krishna and Lakshmi are some of the collections which I have made and these paintings are not for sale. I will keep it for my future generations to have a look at it and worship the antique gods. Finally, I am thankful to the creator of this uh, painting. It is, is a unique painting which he has done. I think he is not only a painter, he is a visionary. He has presented the Sri Rama Pattabhishekam as it is we are observing and participating in the actual Sri Rama Pattabhishekam. I thank and I say Namaskar to the unknown painter of Tanjavur classical gold painting. This is the only digital research channel in India producing the documentary ethnographic films on the endangered human populations and ethnic cultures of India. So subscribe this channel to know more about the endangered human population and ethnic cultures of India on every weekend.